all bodies remain in a state of rest or uniform motion, constant velocity, unless they are acted upon by an external unbalanced force. Before Newton's time, people thought that a body moved only if a force was acting on it. But according to his first law, a body that is in uniform motion will remain in motion, with no need for any force to act on it. To verify if this is true, we will need a laboratory in motion, for example, a subway car. The light of experience tells us that when we travel on the subway, we move when it moves, and we stop when it stops. What might suggest that once a driving force ceases the subway movement, so does our own movement. But look at this. It appears that our body wants to continue in a straight line movement as Newton predicted. We will use an object with small friction coefficient, like this ball. First, we place it in the floor of the wagon when the train is still in the station, and when it starts to move, the ball tries to keep its previous position. And more surprisingly, when the train is moving and it stops, the ball keeps its straight line movement, which is exactly what would happen to us if we hadn't a way to stop our own bodies. Once we are inside a train in motion, we have our own movement that won't be stopped unless a force does it. Let's see if that is what happens. So, it seems that Sir Isaac Newton was right. 